I'm joined now by a couple of competitors from the women's golf team. Just finished up the Colby Invitational. Annie Freeman, freshman on the golf team, and Sadie Strain, a sophomore. Sadie, let's start with you. The first day of this tournament, you shot a two under 70, best round of your collegiate career. What was working for you out on Monday? Um, everything. You know, I was draining putts. Um, I just was hitting the ball so purely, and I had my longest putt for birdie was like a 12 footer. So. Um, just hitting it really well and able to make those putts. Did you see something out in that round that you've been working on to improve lately that really came through for you? Because that is a very good score and, as I mentioned, a career best for you in college. Yeah, um, Coach and I have been working um, on kind of everything surrounding my game. Um, but she's been helping me with um, mainly drives and then a little bit on short game and putting. Um, so just hitting the fairways you know, <laughs> made a lot of the difference. Um, and putting, just like I said, it was just... A world of difference. A great round for you, Annie. You also had a pretty good go in this competition, a couple of steady rounds, and it was an opportunity to see all nine teammates competing at the same time, which was an unusual thing. That's not always the case. Team travels with lower numbers and things like that. What did you get out of this tournament as a team as far as camaraderie goes? Um, well, it definitely goes to show that anything can happen, and like it's really cool to know that we have, I mean, nine competitive scores that we can take at any moment and that was really cool for the whole team to experience and the team as a whole didn't get off to the start you were hoping for day one but then a major turnaround into day two what did you talk about at the end of day one as a group as far as refocusing getting back out on the course and being ready to stage a pretty impressive comeback there Honestly, like coach always says focus on the process and on the outcome and like obviously we're like we're gonna win this but it was just play your game play golf don't play you know to win well play to win obviously play to win but like just you know don't focus on so much like I have to make this putt just how am I going to make this putt rather than I'm going to make this putt definitely got to be tough mentally we all know that about golf and I'm sure there was a tough mental situation for the two of you when it, everything wrapped up and then you found out you're going head to head in a sudden death situation as you're stepping up to the tee Sadie what's going through your mind saying this is a one-on-one -on -one situation with one of my teammates um well it's just like surreal because we both knew that we were, I mean, we were playing off for the number one um, spot, so it was just, it was awesome. I couldn't be more proud of Annie, um, and to just be in that situation was, it was awesome. I couldn't have picked a better day. <laughs> um, yeah, so, yeah. And the two of you went head to head. There was, ended up being two sudden death playoff holes. Annie, you played those holes a couple of times through the first few days. What did you learn playing them the first time that you were able to apply the second time around? Well, uh, those holes kind of kicked me in the butt the first two <laughs> rounds. I'm not going to lie on that one. And I think it was just, I just had to, you know what, don't play um, aggressive on those holes because that's what I was doing in the first two rounds. And it bit me in the butt, like I said. And I was just like, just, you know, play textbook golf, which is just fairway, green, two putt, get in the hole. I mean, I didn't do that either time, but I mean, that's what I was going for. What was a strategy that ended up working out for you, winning the individual title, Sadie shooting a career best, and then, of course, the team winning the Santa Clara Colby Invitational Girls. Congratulations. Thank you for joining us today, and go Broncos.